I'm Lisa Brockwell. And this is Get Your Own Back, the show that brings to book all of those nasty grown-ups their crimes against kids. Let's get the first chapter started and let's pay to the team. Yeah. yeah. Playing for the yellows is 12-year-old Hannah Sullivan and playing for the blues is 11-year-old Becky Holmes. All right, good to see you both. Hannah there and Becky there. Right, Hannah, I'm going to start with you. Who do you want to get your own back My on? My mum, Heather. Your mum, Heather. Hey, and here's Lisa to tell us more. It's bad enough that Hannah's mum is a head teacher. But she acts like a teacher at home too. She can't stop marking things, even Hannah's dress sense. When Hannah's friends come round, her mum takes a register. Stephanie, Rochelle, Victoria. You're late. It's Hi, so I embarrassing. But worst of all, Hannah has nightmares that one day her mum will be a teacher at her school. So please teach my mum a lesson. She'll never forget. Thank her, Dave. Head teacher, come and see me. Come on. <laughs> Why do you take your work home with you? Dave, I really, really love being a teacher and I think my kids like to know how they're doing, but I'd really like to say that I'd love to give you 10 out of 10 for that wonderful shirt you've got on today. 10 out of 10? Oh, she's trying to bribe me this person. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> I say so. Now, Hannah, if you could be a head teacher for a day, what would you make your mum do? I'd give my mum a detention all day Excellent. so I can go have some fun. I do, too. Shake my hands. Yes. Do you know what I get to do my homework? Because I was absolutely lousy at that when I was a child. Right, Becky, who do you want to get your own back on? My grandma, Maz. Your grandma, Maz. And here's Lisa to tell us more. Becky just wishes her grandma, Maz, would be, well, more grandma-like. I mean, how many grandmas go rollerblading? And how many grandmas love kickboxing? She even climbs trees. Now, how many grandmas do that? In fact, the only thing she does like a true grandma is to embarrass her when picking her up from school. I have the hay, sweetheart! So please, get her to act her old age and dunk her, Dave! Oh, thanks a lot, Lisa. Bring on the extreme granny! By the looks of it, you never quite grew up, did you? I don't want to grow up. You have more fun being childish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Becky, what's it like having a super gran? It's really embarrassing. All right, well, we'll be in the fun at how everything goes here. Now, I'll get your own back. Very simple thing. Both children will have to try and score as many points as they can whilst they play the games. It's up to our two grown-ups, that's right, Heather and Grandma Maz, to try and stop that from happening. But ultimately, the child with the highest amount of points gets that chance to get their grown-up closer towards the guns, which this time is nastier and slimier than ever before. And I know this, because Lisa and I, we had to mix it, didn't we? Yes, we did. It's our very own recipe. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> OK, everyone, let the games begin! Yeah! It's our first game and all our contestants are playing. Hannah and Becky have to climb the slopes and grab the yellow and blue nuggets and bring them down to here. But look up above, there is Queen Heather and Queen Grandma Maz. Give us a roll wave, ladies. They'll be throwing the slush down the slope, making it very slippery. So be careful, ladies. That's right, but it's the first one to get all six nuggets who will give their queen a right royal flush, hence the name of the game. Shall we start it now, yes, Lisa? Please. All right, then. Three, Three two, two, one, go! go! Now we love this sort of game and get your own back, and so do our young players as they go up there. Face the queens of the Royal Slush, and they grab their first nugget. Here comes Hannah, there comes Becky. Oh, step for step, nugget for nugget. Nice one, well done. Oh, but Becky's now slightly ahead. Oh, look at this, Queen Maz, shaking the Royal Slush, making Becky fall to the floor. Oh, look at that, grab that nugget. She's smiling about it, though, that's nice to see. I wonder how Hannah's doing, though. There's Hannah just falling a little bit behind. There you go, well done, well done. Oh, look at that smile on That's his face, though. Hey! See that? Have a that? Oh, that's so good, Becky. I'll tell you, it's very slippery now on that particular game, but both girls are smiling and they're getting the nuggets into the bottom of the course. Look at this. Lots of flinging of the royal flushy stuff. There's Becky with yet another nugget. Putting it in there. Here comes Hannah with hers. Oh, Heather's just running out of the royal slush. Oh, dear. What's she going to do now? I don't know. She's probably thinking to herself. There you go. Well done, Becky. OK, here's Hannah with her nugget. That's lovely. Lovely stuff. 
Now here's Becky with her last nugget, which means Queen Maz gets a one more flush. Ha -ha! Oh, no, all right, stop that. Oh, that was amazing. Totally messy up there. Well done to you, Becky. Right, here we are. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got a full six there. Across to Hannah. Hannah, come down here. You can drop that now. You've got one, two, three, four, five nuggets. Good try there. OK, Lisa, what's the scores, please? First game, first gungeon. Yellows, 50 points. Blue slightly ahead with 60 points! Witching game and Hannah, you look fantastic. Now I know you like horse riding. I think you're gonna love this game on the broomstick. Now you have to get these frogs like this, and you have to throw them into the cauldron. You get ten points for every frog in the cauldron. Good luck. And over here we've got Heather, who's dressed up in a pumpkin. Hey, it might be a bit of a squash in there. Get it, squash. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, squash. Oh dear, she's just grimacing there. Now what she has to do is run around very, very quickly. And the faster she runs, the more difficult it will be for her daughter Hannah to put the frogs into those amazing cauldrons. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. OK, I'm going to get out of your way. I'm going to start the game. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and as the game gets off to a flying start there, good pace. Good pace from Heather. Hey, I wonder how Heather's doing. She's doing very well, actually. Getting those frogs in, which is not easy when you play a game like this. There you are, nice pace on. Very accurate throwing there from our young daughter. There you are, completely butcher's costume. Lots of smiling on Heather's face. I don't understand that. You're supposed to be hating it. But look at this. Heather's doing really well. Chucking those frogs into the cauldron. Hang on, it's slowing up a little bit. Ooh, slowing up a lot. Now, you see, the slower that she goes round, the more easier it is for her daughter to get those frogs into the cauldron. Look at that, see, straight away. Less than 10 seconds to go, and the pace has really dropped. Come on, Heather, if you don't want to go in that gun, you're going to have to get fast. Oh, never mind, time's up. <laughs> OK, stop! Stop, stop, stop! She started off with a full pelt, a full pelt of a run. Now look at just one. Stop! Stop! Hannah, I'm going to count your frogs. Get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. So far, nine in that one. Nine over here. Get ready. Oh goodness me! Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Over here. Last one. Oh, you're very accurate, aren't you? Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, an amazing 240 points! Yay! It's time for round two with the blues. Now, Becky, hold on tight, because your super fit, super grand is the pumpkin. Oh, enjoy the ride, yes? Three, two, one, go! Here we go, Grandma Maz. is now in the pumpkin bowl. Look at the pace on her! Wow, I'll tell you, all that rollerblading comes in handy. It means her granddaughter has really got a real task ahead of her. Look at that, as she's chucking the frogs in. Hey, she's doing quite well, though. Yeah, Becky is doing quite well. They're going in. We like that. All Maz has to do is to keep up that pace. It'll make it very difficult for the granddaughter to get loads and loads of frogs in. But wow, I'll tell you, both of them are playing well. Maz is smiling. Becky's concentrating, even with a smile on her face, and getting the frogs in. Did you see that? Bit of a double throw there. Double throw there as well. Interesting tactic. We like that. Less than 10 seconds to go on his most bell-minded performance here. Pace is now slightly dropping, but I think Maz might have done enough. We're going to find out now as it goes to zero. <laughs> OK, this is... Stop, stop, this, stop, 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 All right, Maz. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. I want to see her on rollerblades. That's all I want to do. Right, get ready. I'm going to count your frogs. Get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's quite amazing. That one fell back in. Right, twelve so far. Twelve so far. Get ready. Right, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Nineteen, twenty. Right, come on, last one. Come with me. Come with me. Twenty. Here we go. Oh goodness me! Look at this. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. An amazing two hundred eighty points. Well done, Becky. Yes. Yeah. Lisa, Lisa. What are those scores so far? Absolutely spellbinding. The yellows have two hundred ninety points, and the blues are flying ahead with three hundred forty. Yeah. Heather, Heather, 
have you, uh, have you got much boating experience? Well, I have actually, Dave, yes. I can sail a bit. Oh, well, in that case, then you'll be very good at this game. OK, Lisa, your turn. OK, it's time for our sailor to set sail on the good ship, get your own back. Hannah, you will come over to here, collect coins from this treasure chest and put them in the secret compartments at the end of the boat. Ten points for every coin found in the compartment, because you've got to hide it from the pirates. <laughs> oh, that's right. It won't be plain sailing, not at all, because Heather has got a rope and she'll be pulling the boat backwards and forwards and making it rock really bigly. That's right. You ready to do this? I am. Right, I'll start the game. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Now, we know she likes to be a bit of a bossy old teachery type mum at home, but take a look at this. Daughter Hannah is away with her first doubloon at the bow of the boat. She's now got another doubloon in the hand, and she's going towards the boat. There it is. She puts it in. Well done. I'll tell you, it's not easy on that boat because it's big, rubbery, and very choppy on that old water there. Look at that. It's going up and down there. She blows. Oh, yes. Well done there, Hannah. Get yourself another doubloon. Go towards the back of the boat, otherwise known as the stern. Yep. I think she's got this quite well, actually. She's... Oh, no, I spoke, I spoke too soon. A lot of wobbling going on. She's definitely going to need sea legs here because her mother is doing some serious pulling. Look at that! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, all fun and adventure on the high seas. Yet another doubloon in one of the pockets. Go on, Hannah, you've got less than ten seconds now to get yourself another doubloon before the time is up. Go on, put it in, girl! Hi, hi! <laughs> Come aboard! You want the header? Yep. I'll tell you, a tough old game. You stay there and rest yourself a moment. Right, and you rest yourself as well. Get ready, Hannah. Here we go, Hannah. One, two, three, four. Got to check these doubloons, these lovely coins. Four so far, that side. Got to check the other end. Four. Here we go. Right, five, six. Here we go. Seven. All right, here we are. Here we are. Eight. Nine. Good score there. 90 points, Hannah. Well done. <laughs> It's time for round two with the Blues. Rocking the boat will be Grandma Mays. Hey, Becky, how are you feeling? Really confident. Aye, aye, Captain. Three, two, one, go! And now it's the turn of Buccaneer Becky to put those doubloons in the pockets to make the point. And there she goes with her first one. Grandma Mays giving it serious pulling. But hey, take a look at this. Second doubloon straight away, I tell you. Becky has got some serious speed on her. And look, she's even looking around as well. Bless her. That I do like. <laughs> Lots of pulling going on. Her granny's not making it easy for her, but she is still very, very quick. Look at this. There she goes, up the front of the boat, otherwise known as the bow. There's Grandma Mads giving it. Oh, that was a vicious pull, wasn't it? There you are. Becky puts it in. Mads gives a bit of pulling. What? <laughs> and Becky went missing for a second. It's all right, though. She's back in the centre, grabbing a doubloon, heading for the back of the boat. Less than 10 seconds to go. Go on, shove me timbers, girl. Get that doubloon in before the time's up. Well done. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Not there. Well done, Becky, coming aboard. Wow, are you all right after all of that? Quite amazing stuff. Well done. Look, she couldn't even speak. Bless her, couldn't even speak. OK, get ready. Here we go. I'm going to count these lovely coins. One, two, three, four, five over there so far. Here we are. Okay, towards the front of the ship. Five. Right, here we are. Get ready. Six. Seven, all oh right, eight, nine, ten, here we go, eleven, that's it, an amazing 110 points, well done, Becky! Yeah! Okay, Lisa, what are the scores, please? Now, that looked like rough seas. Yellows had 380 points, blues are selling ahead with 450! Yeah!